Talking Points Memo senior reporter Christina Bellantoni joins us with the latest. Christina, what happened? <laughs> Hi, David. Well, this is an example of one of the, the things that the American people are frustrated with in Washington. A few hours after this bipartisan bill came out, the White House had already praised it, saying this is exactly the approach they wanted to take, incorporating ideas from Democrats and Republicans. Majority Leader Harry Reid said, actually, we're going to go forward with a much smaller bill. But actually, progressives are breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief because Reid was worried this would get bogged down just like health care did last year. Basically, he thought that if you incorporate all these ideas from Republicans, many of which the progressive Democrats didn't like, such as uh, slashing the estate tax, then you've, uh, you've got some problems and you might not even get a bill passed at all. So he places the progressives and he certainly angers the man that was over his shoulder in that picture of Max Baucus. So interesting that he gave Max Baucus months and months to try to come up with something on, uh, on health care. Baucus comes up with something on jobs and within 24 hours, Reed says no. <laughs> Exactly. And one thing we haven't heard from the White House yet, you know, I imagine President Obama might be disappointed with this, given that they put out the statement yesterday after the bipartisan bill was unveiled. But at the same time, they also want to see action. The Senate got uh, bogged down itself this week due to the weather that we've all been following so closely here. And so they actually aren't even going to have the first votes on this until after they come back from President's Day recess. So, you know, this was the number one priority of the administration and Congress after uh, Scott Brown won that election in Massachusetts. And it's still not done. Mm. Christina Bellantoni, great reporting as always from TalkingPointsMemo.com. Christina, thank you. Thanks, David.